Here we go, guys. Here we go. Oh, we just hit a couple here. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. Oops. Going to play some ice cream for Cause today we are, are going to drive The van once again in ice cream game Alright guys, today is the day We're gonna be driving Rod's ice cream van In ice cream 4, out with his back Alright, here we are, we're in ice cream Let's go ahead and open up the Outwit mod. Go ahead and turn on no clip. Fly right outside because you know what? We're not gonna waste our time doing that puzzle. Turn on God mode just for extra safe measures. The moment of truth. The NPC menu. Go into the NPC menu. Click on Drive Rod's Van. You see it there. The moment of truth. The moment you've all been waiting for. We're gonna turn on Drive Rod's van. Just like that. You are now driving Rod's van. We haven't seen this since Ice Cream 3. We are in Ice Cream 4 now. Now is the time to check out something all new here in Ice Cream 4. I'm gonna be straight up honest. Um, this is not a very good area to, uh, to drive a van in. This thing is massively large and it is incredibly difficult to drive in this very, very condensed area. Here we go, we got the ice cream van. Rod's van, you know the one that he's been working on, he's been fixing up. Well, it's, it's here, it's ready for prime time. Let's spawn some clones here first. And teleport Rod to me. Oh, look at that, he's talking about a Tesla ice cream van. I think he's, uh, he's a little mad now. All right, let's go ahead and drive Rod's van now, shall we? Oh, sorry, Rod. We just, uh, we stole your van. Oops. Did I, did I, did I do that? Did I do that? Mini Rod has died from being ran over. Oops. Looks like he's a mini Rod now. Well, I guess in comparison to the ice cream van, he is kind of small. Oh, I'm sorry, Rod. I'm just, uh, I'm learning how to reverse in your ice cream van. Hopefully I'm doing this correctly. Okay, step two. We've ran over Rod. Now we need to run over Boris. Um, he's very fast, so let's uh let's crank this move speed up just a tad bit, you know? Oh, look at that! He just he ran over his boss. He's like, oh, I'm s sorry, boss. Didn't mean to walk over you there. They see me rolling. They hate it. All right, all right. There we go. We got the wheels in motion. Let's see if we get him. Oh, Boris has died from being ran over. L look at him. He's a ghost now. So we've hit up Boris, we've hit Rod. Now it's time to hit up some mini clones. Spawn just two for now. That way we'll have a better chance of hitting one. Oh, looks like they're straight ahead over here. Oops, mini Rod has died from being ran over. Okay, looks like uh, they look a little flattened here. For some reason, Boris likes walking into brick walls. I don't know why but he just he does he's so fascinated with walking into the brick wall so incredibly awesome how you can run enemies over with the van but you know what guys i'm thinking we need to take this to the next level you know it's very difficult to drive around here with a massive van like this and being able to hit everything in sight so we're gonna go into our object menu and our van's already pre-selected for us here so we're gonna do here actually is we're gonna scale this thing a little bit we're gonna bring this down to about mm, maybe half size. Now we're driving a minivan. And now let's see if we can hit them. <laughs> we hit both mini rods at the same time. That's awesome. Oh, poor, poor mini rods. This should be a lot easier, right? To uh, to navigate around this this area. It is so incredibly hard to to drive around here with like no room. Like at least the other ice cream games in the neighborhood, you could drive around no problem. This. On the other hand, good luck. Good luck. I'm thinking our best bet is gonna be like to go over here to this part of the map and then just kinda try to keep it straight. Keep the keep the van a little bit straightened up. Alright, never mind. Let's go to the object menu. Can we rotate our van? Alright, that works. That definitely works. What about opacity? Oh, I don't think that was a good idea. 
This looks like a spooky, transparent van. L look at this thing. You would not want to engage with this vehicle. Um, the, the level of smoke and darkness surrounding this van. It's like the Grim Reaper himself. Death is driving this van. But the real question is, can we do this with color? Can we, can we style this a little bit more? Let's go to the creative menu and let's see if we can set the colors. Oh, this is absolutely incredible. Look at this. We can actually set it like to red, for example. And we have a red van here. Look at this. A see-through red van. Powered by the creative options and the object menu, we can basically turn this into whatever we want. We can be a small flattened van. We could be a very wide van. Look at this. This is ridiculous. It looks like I'm driving a submarine over here. Let's up our opacity. Now we got a really bright red van. Look at that. But once we want to restore things, we could go and hit reset. And just like that, our object shader has been reset. What else have we not done? Uh, we could no clip. We could totally mess with gravity. I don't recommend doing this, but what we could do is let's uh let's bump up the gravity a bit look at this we're floating we're floating off into the heavens what happens if we reset gravity do we do we just go oh no it's dangerous <laughs> what about the fog Ooh, that is super spooky what if you do this it is impossible to see where you're going honestly you can't see a thing with this we're gonna check out as a matter of fact is uh, the creative menu. I'm not done yet. Okay, no clip. We're gonna go up here to the roof of the factory. That's exactly where we wanna go. We kinda wanna be like leveled with the factory somewhat. Okay, so this should be good. We're gonna spawn a plane here. Now, as you guys can see, it's like a flat floor here. We're gonna scale this thing. Look at this. We're gonna make it massive. Like we, we gotta go massive here. Okay, that looks good. That looks good. This is very wide. We'll give it a little bit of color here. Um, I like cyan. We're gonna go with the cyan color. We're gonna turn off our no clip. Now, moment of truth. We spawn our van. And now, we have plenty of room to drive around here. If you ever wanted to drive on the outskirts of the map, here it is. We're driving Rod's van. We can literally make our own obstacle course here if we wanted to. This is so insane. You ever wonder why we have the creative menu? This is why. We have it so that we can do insane things like this. Like, I don't even know. Can we, can we go off the roof? Oh, we can totally go off the roof. We're going to have a stunt park here, guys. Look at this. This is insane. Look at this. Hold up, hold up. Let's go off that. Oh, we're doing stunts. But I love how we can drive this thing so crazy fast. Like literally, if, if we if we reach top speed here, we can go around in circles and do a donut. Look at this. This is how fast Rod's van goes. I don't know if he like put a supercharger in this thing or something, but this thing makes insane horsepower. Like we're driving around this, the, the rooftop of the factory here. I kind of want to do an insane stunt. See if we can if we can go a little bit further, we're going to turn around and then we're going to try to hit it. We're going to try to hit the stunt here. Here we go, guys. Let's see. There we go. We got it. We got it. We're good. Oh, this is so crazy. Look at this. But before we do anything else, we got to we got to do this. We got to spawn a ton of clones. Let's spawn about 20 clones. Let's go into NPC. We're going to drive and we're going to gain some speed here. Let's see how this goes. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Oh. We just hit a couple here. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. Oops. No. Look at this. Sorry, move out the way. I gotta go. Is he on the roof of the van? He's on the roof of the van. Look at this. Oh, he just got run over. Look at this. Hold on. There's one more. We gotta get the last one here. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I hope he's got insurance. Our car is out of control. Rod, I'm sorry. What'd you do to this van? Oof. Oh, this is absolutely incredible. All right, guys. So I'm going to leave it here. This has been Ice Cream 4 Driving Rod's Van. 
Never have I ever thought I'd see this ever come back to the ice cream games. But here it is in Ice Cream 4, just like you guys remember from Ice Cream 3, but I think even better this time around. A lot more stable. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button down below. Hit that subscribe button if you're new here and hit that bell to always be notified. We're going to be banging out some insane mods like this. So if you guys like this kind of stuff, make sure to stay tuned. And as always, see you guys next time. Goodbye, everybody, and peace.